Well, cleaning continues. I wanted to just uh, show you some of the fun things I've come across. So, this matting, or this floor covering that they put on in the front here. See how it's kind of a paper, tar, and then a foam? Um, you can kind of see it there. Man, that's just a pain in the butt to get up, but it comes up. Um, so anyway, I, I got that all off of the front here because I want to make sure that I don't have any rust issues that I need to deal with. And um, man, I dodged some bullets, I'll tell you what. It's hard to see here because of the thing, but a little bit of a rust hole right there. You can see it, you can see it right there. About the size of a pea. And then some surface rust in this corner. Now, I fully expected this because uh, um, I had a hole up here underneath my uh, battery that I plugged a couple years ago. And, um, you know, that's of course where the water would end up. And sure enough, there's a little, little, little tiny hole there. Uh, moving over, another place where the water tends to pool is right here. Unfortunately, that's just a little bit of surface rust. Nothing, nothing too concerning. And then coming down the water channel, you know, a few other places of surface rust. Um, again, nothing penetrated, so I'm kind of happy to clean those up and hit them with uh, some rust oleum. I think they'll be good to go. Um, a little spot underneath here that I'll have to look at. Now, again, if you're wondering why it's all black, it's because, of course, I uh, I put down uh, some uh, acid. Oh clean those up and you know it, it transfers the uh, or, or transforms the rust um, but yeah this side cleaned up nice now this one here I didn't see any signs of rust so I just left this one on um, I didn't peel that one up and I'm probably not going to peel the one up over there we will see when I get over to this front here how that looks um, I'm not expecting too much other than that, we'll just keep on going. All right.